Alright guys, so to begin with, I have this really dark background. Now it doesn't matter. You can just use any color palette and you can use a lighter background also if you want to. But I prefer using a dark background when I'm creating something glowing. So here what I'm doing is I am actually taking a really dark color which is darker than the base color. Alright, I'm taking it and I'm taking this airbrush and I don't remember the exact name of this brush but you guys can see the icon which is selected. So I basically just drew this random shape and I filled it in with that same color. Now I was actually looking at the reference at the time and I suggest you guys do that to do the same also you can just follow this video this tutorial and just exactly just copy the colors and the shape of the crystal so that you guys can practice and really learn how to actually you know draw a crystal once you have that now what you want to do it you want to select another color which is uh, slightly darker than the color you just filled in and also should be a little on the brighter side so i also make sure it's a little saturated all right so i just took this pink color and i am using the same airbrush to do this to add this right at the bottom now you can add this color at the top as well depends on the reference you're using and i didn't blend this with any blending brush or colorless brush i was just using airbrush in a way so that I don't need to use much brush or colorless brush. Now, if you if you guys want to know what the technique is to use airbrush in such a way that you don't need to use any smudge brush or colorless brush, I will link down a video which I did a uh, while back, and where I actually teach you guys how to actually do that. So, yeah, that's another thing. Now, what I'm doing is I am taking this light color and this is a lighter version of the color that i used right at the bottom and this is light lighter in shade and also a little desaturated all right now also it does depend on the reference you are using so basically what i'm um doing is i'm just outlining the whole crystal or stone and i am just adding some random shapes inside this crystal so that's what you want to do you guys also i just forgot to mention um the first step was to create a random shape with a dark color so after that you want to make sure that you have locked the layer so that where whatever you are doing or whatever you're painting over this shape is not coming out of that shape so yeah i hope that is making sense so as you guys can see i was following again i was looking at the reference at the time so based on that i added these little shapes and guys crystal is really really simple to create if you you know draw it once one time just by following some tutorial let's just say you follow this tutorial and you you know create a really uh really beautiful looking crystal then you will understand how to actually create it without having to look at a reference. So just follow along what I'm doing uh, and you will learn how to actually do it. Now what I'm doing is I am taking um, a lighter color, even lighter color this time. And again, I'm just using soft airbrush for everything in this video. And also decreasing the size of the brush, I'm just going to outline the whole stone and also the shapes that i have underneath it and also you have to connect those with each other as i am doing right here so you have to just uh do it for the whole stone i don't know how to explain it but you guys will understand what i'm doing i'm just gonna speed through the process a little so that you guys can understand what i am really doing and if you want to use the exact same color palette then what you can do is you can just take a screenshot um from this video and then you can just pick up colors um from that screenshot if you want to but i would suggest you know kind of selecting your own colors you know it really helps you with i don't know what to call it but just really helps you you know in uh, building confidence with colors yeah building confidence with colors i mean you know getting comfortable with playing around uh with the colors so uh that's one tip and that's something i 
didn't do a lot but recently i've been playing a lot with my colors and i'm sorry you guys if you hear some background noise uh, i just uh, i just don't want to pause recording just because you know there are a bit of noise and i've been trying to record it for a while now all right so yeah i mean just connect it and make sure you are not putting a lot of pressure when you do that because we don't want a lot of pigmentation of the color so make sure um it's enough so yeah that's that okay guys now what you want to do is you can either go ahead and um, pick white color or a really light version of the color that you just used now you just want to focus on the points where different little compartments or segments of the crystals are um, kind of meeting or that line those outlines you created with that light color those lines are meeting at one point so i hope this is making sense now i hope you guys can see it in the video uh, just darken those up a little all right you don't have to uh, do it for the whole lines the whole outlines you have created but just the points where different lines are meeting each other just there just you know add a little bit of white color and just make sure to add more pigmentation there focus the pigmentation there right now here i am just adding that pink color that i added right at the bottom um in some of these little compartments or segments um because it was just uh it looked too it looked flat to me you know and so i just wanted to add more color all around the crystal so you can do the same obviously i was looking at the reference and i was just doing it as i was seeing it on the reference so yeah it does depend on that as well but yeah if you're following my tutorial then yeah just follow what i'm doing right here now once you have that now is the time when we create glow now for that obviously you have to create a new layer just right at the bottom and the color of the glow depends totally up to you but make sure the color is pretty saturated and uh with the same brush i'm just painting this color right underneath that stone and also um i'm just gonna uh, blend the edges out so once you blend those edges out basically the drill here is to um uh, first add the color color should be really saturated and don't and then you have to blend the edges out and if you are using sketchbook on your desktop then i suggest using the blur tool and because a sketch the sketchbook version which ipad has doesn't have blur tool so you'll just have to smudge the edges out now once you do that what you want to do is you want to um, make sure it's not like spread out and should be close to the stone and you want to make sure to change uh, the layer mode to add all right and then just duplicate that layer and adjust the layer the first layer of the glow should stick with the stone and the second layer of the glow should be a little spread out i hope this is making sense so you don't have to create it twice just create one and then duplicate it and you can also adjust the opacity if you think it's too much also when that is done what you want to do is you want to create a new layer and now you want to pick up uh, the glow tool and you want to increase the size of the brush and just slightly just paint over this tone all right and when you do so uh it'll create a glow which will be sticking to this tone itself and because uh the layer is underneath the main stone and when you paint over that middle part of the stone it'll create effect of a glow which is sticking to the stone i hope this is making sense you guys it's like really hard to explain but you guys can just see what i'm really doing here and i'm i'm like trying my best to explain this part especially this part is kind of hard to explain also with uh, by using the similar brush i added little dots um over that glow to create that glittery sparkly effect and you are done you guys here you are just basically done you don't have to do what i'm doing here because the crystal is already looking really really good but i just went ahead and added more color um, on those uh, white spot but i would not recommend doing that because those spots those patches really make it look that much more realistic 
and but if you want you can just watch the whole video and see how the end result is looking but i'll highly recommend not really doing that i was just adding the color over those patches just to see how it looks i was just playing around with it and i added the clip just to show you guys how the results are looking so obviously i'm just gonna fast forward this part so that you guys can see how it was looking and if you want you can just add a little bit of that purple that really dark purple over those patches just a little bit like slightly really lightly but yeah i think it, it is looking good as is so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm really sorry for old background noises that kept coming throughout the video other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do create crystal out of this tutorial, post it on Instagram and tag me on Instagram. I would really love to see what you have created. Other than that, subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video.